Here's a quick video to explain uh, why the solutions to questions 17 A and B in the WAE 2018 methods exam was, well, basically they're just not good. Um, you can get a copy of the exam from the publication section of SCSA. That's here. And click on the past ATAR exam links. Let's have a look at the question though. So here it is. Um, Tina believes that at 60% of the mangoes she produces on a farm are large and she takes a random sample of 500 from the day's picking. And uh, the first question for three marks is uh, assuming that um, she's correct and that 60% of her mangoes are large, what is the approximate probability distribution of the sample proportion of large mangoes in her sample? Now, this is where the examiners tripped themselves up. They actually wrote a stupid question um, because once um, and Tina's taken a sample, look, it tells us up here, she takes a random sample and then the question follows on asking us about the sample proportion in her sample. Now, once you've taken a sample, that's it. It's not a random variable. It's basically um, whatever it is, whatever the proportion happens to be. So um, what they meant to ask the students here was the sample proportion of large mangoes in random samples of size 500. And then, of course, um, they've come up with the normal um, approximation here, which works pretty well. We know that technically it's not, but this is a good approximation under the right conditions. So that was part A. Um, part B then asked, What's the probability that the sample proportion of large mangoes is less than 0.58? And um, then they carried on and used the normal approximation here to come up with a probability of 0 0.18066. Okay, so let's see maybe what they should have done. So here we go. Um, and that's the wrong answer, by the way. We'll have a look. So here's, um, here's the question in brief, a random sample, blah, blah, blah. This is their solution. Now, of course, um, when we take a random sample and we know that uh, 500, it's binomially distributed. So if we actually calculate the answer correctly, we use a, the old binomial cumulative distribution. We want somewhere between zero and the upper limit would be 0.58. Oh, hold on, we say, let's cancel that. What is 0.58 of 600, uh, 500, sorry, here we go. So uh, to get a 58% proportion, we'd need 290 out of 500. Now we've got to get a sample proportion less than 0.58. So that means we need to take a sample, uh, we need 289 or less right now we're ready to go so off we go again to our discrete binomial cumulative we want somewhere between zero and 298 mangoes in our sample so we're doing it 500 times and according to tina there's a 60 percent chance so what do we get uh oh something oh wait a minute 289 did i say a little bit of dyslexia creeping in there there it is so this is actually the correct solution 0.16883 or rounded up a bit to four. So um, that's the correct. Now, if you're not sure, well, what about we've been told that the old normal approximation is okay, but if you want to use the normal approximation to calculate um, this type of probability, you need to use the continuity correction, which isn't part of the course. Let's just check things out here though. So here's a little um, Excel spreadsheet. And here's a little bit of code that's going to basically take 100,000 samples and let's see what we get. So here's from running it before. I'll just fire this up. You can read the code here and have a crack at it yourself if you don't believe this kind of stuff works. Um, but off we go. Uh, and you can see, so, you know, at the moment, the proportion of samples is ranging quite quickly. You know, it's pretty low at the moment, 0.158, but we've only taken 4,000. And we're interested in the long run probability here. So um, I might pause recording because this is a little bit like watching grass grow. We've got to wait until this number here gets up to 100,000. What are we up to? We're up to 10,000. We're a tenth of the way there, but um, I haven't got any good jokes. So let's just pause and we'll come back in towards the end. But you can see um, in the long run, the mean is settling down. We expect this to be 0 0.6. 
And um, this one we were after, what was it? Let's just move this over a bit there. It was 0.16884. Hmm, it's a bit low at the moment, but we're a lot closer than the examiner's um, one, aren't we? Anyway, I'll pause. We'll come back in a second. We've just got over the halfway mark here. So you can see the mean of the 50,000 sample proportions at the moment is very close to 0.6. So it looks like our code is doing things properly. Um, and the proportion of samples less than 0.58 is about 0.1668. It's getting closer and closer to the correct solution here. So um, let's come back in another 50,000 samples. So here we go, the moment of truth. We're kind of um, getting very close to 100,000 samples. And you can see there it is, 0.169, which is so we've simulated it. The probability of getting this is um, about 0.169, way away from the examiner's solution. Let's just move this stuff out the way a second. Where are we? Of um, 0.1806. And of course, we could have got the right answer using binomial. Um, if you've got time, this is what you know you, you do when you get to university. If you were in a year 12 in WA, we'd use the continuity correction. So um, to get a probability of less than 0.58, on this one it's basically kind of like saying well if we want it to be less than 290 the biggest number would be 289.5 which is the smallest number that rounds up to that but um uh, let's have, well so that would be instead of using 0.58 if we take a 0.5 and divide that by 500 um Basically, oh, what is that? Let's do this in decimal mode. What do we got here? 0.579. So let's try it out. If we work out using the normal distribution that the probability is less than 0.579 instead of 0.58, let's see how we go. So uh, continuous norm CDF that we want the lower would be negative infinity. Uh, the upper is on the line above so that would be answer the standard deviation oh i've forgotten all these things um geez. Uh, let me just go and grab the standard deviation where's our other question gone so the standard deviation here was 0.02 no one more oh, that one okay uh, 02191 squared Oops, where's my calculator gone? Here it is, 0 0.02191. And the mean was 0.6. And hopefully those numbers are... And it's kind of close, isn't it? All right, on that one. But that's using um, the upper limit as 0.579, using a continuity correction rather than 0.58. Anyway, a pretty bad answer, a pretty bad question. All in all, let's hope we don't see any of this again.